you know, the, it's, it's so funny that a lot of people, I, I feel sorry for Dwight because there's so many people that's locked, uh, that's locked inside of themselves and living for other people. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Like, I'm not with the fake shit. Me neither. You know what I mean? Like, I've probably, you know, telling my truth and speaking how I speak. You know what I mean? Those times people said, oh, man, we don't want to deal with you because you said this. All right, fuck you. Don't, like, look, don't care. How you going to be mad at me for talking about, you know, someone that owe me money or my situation? You're a grown man, and you mad over another grown man being mad over his business. Mm -hmm. I, I but have you always been like that? Have you always, That's what I was about yeah, to ask. Have you always been like that? Because, was it vocal? Yeah, because no, in the beginning. No, no. Because in the vocal? beginning. You're, you might have been vocal, but they're like, like okay, and, I was, and I'm saying this. Like Dwight Howard right now going through his situation, he yeah. ain't able to speak. He's he's all these innuendos. You yeah, even know what said, that shit, but bro. think about it. You would you when you first started. Well, when coming, it came to my sexuality, you nah, was, I mean, you know, I got baby mamas and kids. And right there, you that's go. That's the only okay. thing. But okay. like, as far as to be worried about what a nigga think, yeah, that, I didn't never hold it because of what oh, right. they gonna think of. <laughs> Because you know, with politics, you know, with politics, are nasty. <laughs> you think I'm worried about right. what somebody think about you, nasty ass <laughs> nigga? But when I think about politics and you trying to, you know, escalate <laughs> your career, a lot of people tend to hold their tongues because yeah. they don't want to get I'm on nobody's bad. Not me. You know what I mean? <laughs> not me. So you've I'm never not. been like that. No, no. Like I've been in trouble since I was little. Like, like now that I be looking at some of the things that like that you did. Then I do now, now some of the interviews, I seen some interviews, I'll be like, man, shut up, don't say that. Like, I try to tell myself, but, you know, this was stuff that I remember the principal telling me. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't a bad kid, but you wasn't just finna tell me mm -hmm. some shit. And it, if it ain't real, it ain't right, I'm not finna listen to that. Or if I believe something in my heart, even as a kid, I'm getting a whooping and I'm still saying, I, that's not right. I get it. Whoop my ass on the crowd, that's still wrong. Hey, bro. It's wrong. So when you talk about sexuality and how you, you came out and everything like that, and it's so, um, everything is so bold now, especially with um, uh, yeah. everybody. But then why are there still some people in the industry? Dwight Howard. Not just, no, you, you, he's can, one. you can say we him. Say him because, you can you say know. him, but not only him, but there's a lot of other people that are, um, I, it, people are guessing about, and there's nothing. Well, you know, some people. Why people don't want come out about it? I, you know, some people kind of, Take a stance, you know. I've heard people say, you know, they ain't your business, which is cool. That's like, what he said. You know, what now, I mean? I'm, I'm thinking about what I heard. I didn't. I, I shared it, you know, out of again, out of social something that happened on social media. I was sneaking around with someone. He committed suicide. Oh, that's that's and, crazy, and man. Sorry. To at hear this that. time, thank you. I was working in a church, mm. and the stuff that the church people said to me in my comments is what kind of made me mm. come out, and I had to kind of like. Yeah, you know, I came out on social media like, yeah, rah, 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 like, but wait, this is you know, yeah. I mean? because you know, people saying, oh, you know what they say about when you kill yourself, you go to hell, and I'm, wow, Whoa. <laughs> let me go ahead and tell y'all what's happening so I can get your ass in. Then I got them in order, and then I was like, man, you just told on yourself, wow. But um, it's very uncomfortable in our community, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, especially for a man, you know, um, we're looked at as l l less of a man. Um, I guess everybody think you want them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You become this yeah. monster. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hide your kids. Hide your like. It's the weirdest shit. Uh, a woman. And excuse me. A, you know, a woman can say she like another woman, and it's okay. And, and it is okay. <laughs> you mm. know, but yeah. we, our community, is so judgmental. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the, it's it's so funny that a lot of people. I I feel sorry for Dwight because there's so many people that's locked. Uh, that's locked inside of themselves and living for other people. Wow. That's what I was just about to ask. Did you hey, feel a sense money. of freedom? Yeah. Oh my Did God! You I got, feel? My skin changed. My cut. My tone of my skin. I felt like my lights. I got a lighter. Mm. Like sneaking in hotels and like, okay, you meet me here and I'll meet you there. And I'm running and I'm grown out of hard work, money that I work for. I've never asked anybody to. Can you help me get a room? Or yeah. Can you help me go on a date with? All of this shit I'm paying for, yeah. but I'm hiding. And in the midst of that, I've lost um, great people mm. that wanted to be dated out loud, that wanted people to know that yeah. you know they was with this this guy or awesome guy. I wanted us them to know, and I'm like, no, I can't do this. You know, who who wants to live that kind of life? Did wow. you lose friends or family who feel who said that? Well, I don't agree with. 
Oh yeah, a lot of people changed on me, y'all. Uh, and a lot of those relationships, some of those relationships, you know, haven't been rekindled, and the ones is some of them been rekindled, and it ain't the same. Uh, I used to be close to people in the family, and and now it's like I'm I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh, but it don't bother me. I, you know, I, I, I'm also grateful to one of my aunts that I always say consider the resource. And um, I don't, man, you can't judge me because I like I will look at your ass and think about seven different things that you should work <laughs> on before you think about me. If your mom was here, what do you think she would have told you? My mama to knew. You? I think. You think she knew? Absolutely. Yeah, my mama knew me. Because even though, although you had baby mama, girlfriends, yeah, all of that, you felt like. She still your mama, your mama know you, your mother know you, and uh, quite frankly, I think my daddy knew. I, you know, he passed before I came out, but my dad, my dad, I think he knew. He mm -hmm. would always say every time he met a girl with me, man, I, man, she pretty, man. I, I thought, I, I thought this boy was gonna be gay. That's what he, That's what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> me telling me take me in the. I used to take him in the stairs and get him a suit, and the girl tried to put his suit on him. He crying. <laughs> crying. Wow. Wow. That's I want him to see him. That's crazy. You know, he tell every girl I met. Ooh. You can't tell me shit. My daddy was born ah. December the 25th, 1926. So maybe you took Mary fast. Yeah, That's so what it was. You. It was you. It was me. I was a grown, <laughs> I was a grown man in this novel. Yeah, so, <laughs> he had a whole soul. <laughs> that book, your book, man. Man, when you wrote it and decided straight to open, on death row, oh, yes. oh yeah, straight on death row, you decided to open up about all of these things. Yeah, when you when you decided to open up about sure. that, you knew it was gonna cause some. It was gonna ruffle. Some I mean, things. you know, some people got mad, but I don't know. Did it really ruffle things? Well, you told your truth. Yeah, that's I mean, all that matters. You know, I mean, people focused on my sexuality, and then uh, becoming gay became famous. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here! I did it too fast. Okay. <laughs> but I want to talk about because back then I said, it wasn't. Wait, I, I came out. I had to fight for this. But mm -hmm. do you think when you were early on, you was messing with Mary? Well, okay, you, know, you were, how did you think about no, that? that? Time I wasn't. You know, I mean, I know you know, saying, I kinda was, but was. That's what I'm saying. How did you think? <laughs> like, what did you feel like? Okay, yeah, I like Mary. Or you just was like, was she taking advantage of you because you were young? No, nah, I mean, you know, that was Mary she J. was J. young Blige. too. She was young too, and that was Mary J. Blige. And when I brought that story up, because. A lot of people thought that I was like trying to me too. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't use her. <laughs> I got somebody I could me too if I want to, but it, it wouldn't be Mary. It you wouldn't know, be I, Mary. I, I, you know, I said it in the conversation of, you know, somebody was just saying how Mary was somebody girl, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, no, what? No, it was my girl. It was my girl, you know right? I mean? And I was kind of just talking too fast and. <laughs> you know, I, didn't out. Out. I didn't mean to say I got fucked. You know, I didn't mean to say it like that, but I did. I mean, you know, um, you know, nothing I said in my book. You know, I'm waiting for whatever I said in my book for the people that I said it about. I'm waiting for them to come back and be like, he's lying. No, uh, you hadn't heard that, but did oh, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.